guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jillian and today I have a clean and decorate with me for Halloween so I usually don't decorate the inside of my house for Halloween only the outside but I decided to go ahead and put a few Halloween decorations in the house it's not a lot honestly it's maybe a handful of things but this year we are going to be doing a little Halloween party so I thought why not go ahead and put a few Halloween decorations up in the house so I think I have like two pillows and maybe a few like little knickknacks I can put around the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up because the house is a huge disaster. I just have not been keeping up with it. I've just been super busy. I've been working out, errands, school, just therapy. Everything is just like piling on top of each other and I feel like I don't have time to keep up with the house which is driving me crazy because anytime I have a messy or dirty house, I get in a really bad mood. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly pick up. I'm about to leave in about like 20 minutes to go to one of my workout classes, but I figured I can start now, start cleaning up, and then once I get back, I can just finish. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and start picking up around the house. So you guys will see all the cute little decorations I have. Like I said, it's not a lot. Um, I do have to go to Walmart after I work out, so maybe if I find any more Halloween stuff that's cute, I will pick up to add to the little collection that I have. So let's just go ahead and jump right in to today's video. All right, you guys, so before I start putting out the few little Halloween decorations that I do have, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the house so that I have a clean space to work with. Not that I have a lot of Halloween decor. Like I said, I only have a handful of things, but I do wanna go ahead and clean up the house first and then I will start decorating. Years went by, we realized that what we had was all a lie. Never said what's on your mind. The stupid lies you hid behind. I like Drake, you like Bono. You drink Jose, I sip Moscato. You love LA, I miss Toronto. Recently, my husband has been buying me roses every other week, and I am loving it. I love fresh flowers in the kitchen. For a while, every time I would go grocery shopping, I would always pick up just like a cheap little bundle of um, flowers, and then I stopped. So now that my husband is buying me them every week, I'm loving it, and I hope he doesn't stop because I'm getting used to it now. But those red roses are from Whole Foods, and they last a long time. He actually bought me those last weekend, and they are still alive and looking beautiful. <laughs> Years went by, we realized that what we had was all a lie. Never said what's on your mind. The stupid lines you hid behind. I like Drake, you like Bono. You drink Jose, I sip Moscato. You love LA, I miss Toronto. I feel like I'm on my own. So here I'm going through all these books because we go to the library a lot and all these books were checked out from the library other than one of them, which was ours and I didn't want to on accident bring one of our books to the library. So I was just going through them and making sure that they were all the library's books. Also guys, right here you're seeing me take out all of these amazing little cups. They're kind of like Yetis. They keep your drinks cool or warm. They were sent to me by a brewmate. So you guys, definitely make sure you're subscribed because I'll be doing an unboxing. That should be up this weekend probably on saturday i'm not 100 sure saturday or sunday so just make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss out on that unboxing
July Underneath the fireworks sky And I said Everything is perfect cause you're holding me You and I together like we're supposed to be Cause you need me and I need you And here I'm gonna clean up the complete disaster that my daughter made with these little haystacks that I bought from Dollar Tree. She made the biggest mess. It was all over this little stand or table that I have. It was all over the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and then also vacuum the floor because like I said, it was everywhere. I did put it back there. So we will see if she messes with it again. It's been a few days and she hasn't touched it again. So I'm hoping she doesn't. But if she does, I'm just going to remove those haystacks because it's gonna drive me crazy if she keeps on doing that. So fingers crossed, she shouldn't touch it again, but I want to just go ahead and quickly clean that up. Halloween stuff I have for the inside of the house like I said I really don't have much because I never decorate inside of the house so all this I did just buy this year this really cute pumpkin pillow that I absolutely love my sweet friend gave me and I love it so she got me that one and then I got this one from Target's dollar spot I really wish I would have picked up the other Halloween pillows when I saw it because now they're all gone and then I just have a bunch of like random stuff this is also from the Target's dollar spot it's just kitchen towels and then I found this today when I went to Walmart. I thought I can put this on my stove for like a spoon rest. And then Ryan's always asking how many days is left for Halloween. So I thought this would be really cute for him to do like a little countdown. So just a few little knickknacks. All this is from Dollar Tree. This is from Target's Dollar Spot, but all this is from Dollar Tree. And I was originally going to use this for when we had our Halloween party to put on one of like the Halloween tables, but I might just put a few things like in the bathroom or something. I'm not sure, but I just want to show you guys really quickly everything that I have. Me hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals. So you're going to see me moving everything around a million times because I would play something in one spot and then I would back up and didn't like how it looked. So I'm just going to move everything around until I am happy. Also, I kind of wish I would have bought more Halloween decor. I didn't buy much just because I do decorate for fall and I didn't want my Halloween decor and also fall decor to clash. I didn't know how it was going to look, but I think next year I'll just go ahead and buy a bunch of like neutral color Halloween decor and then next year I will put it up because I love Halloween. I love decorating for Halloween as well, but I always just figured it would clash and I end up liking how everything looked. So definitely next year I'll probably decorate a little more.
cleaning out my linen closet very soon because it is a huge disaster all right you guys so this is going to be my halloween house tour i don't even know if i should even call it a halloween house tour since i only have like a handful of halloween decor but there i have a cute little candle with a pumpkin on top i bought that from marshall's i believe it was only like seven or eight dollars in the kitchen i only have a few things i have those kitchen towels that i bought from the target's dollar spot then on the stove i have the little pumpkin tray that i'm going to use for like a spoon rest and then I think I have a Dollar Tree sign. Yeah, right there. I have the little Dollar Tree sign I thought was really cute. And then over on my coffee station, I just have like maybe two things that are Halloween. I thought that sign looked perfect next to my Keurig and then the countdown. So Ryan can stop asking me how many days is left for Halloween. I definitely need to change it out. I have not changed it. Over in the living room, I only have two little mini pumpkins. And then I have the pumpkin pillow and Target's dollar spot um, Halloween pillow. And then I kept out my other fall pillows. And then lastly, in my bathroom, I only have like a few things from Dollar Tree. So that is going to end my Halloween clean slash decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Although I didn't have much, I still enjoyed putting out a few knickknacks that I do have. Like I said, next year, I'll probably decorate a lot more for Halloween. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and I'll see you guys next time.